fire, bright colors and balloons of different shapes and sizes will fill the Park City sky this weekend. Yeah, we really miss seeing the balloons go up. Um, over the years we always have a couple go up, but to see 20 go up at once is something really special. Becca Gerber remembers watching giant hot air balloons soar in the sky when she was only nine years old. And now she's happy one of her favorite childhood events, Autumn Aloft, is making a comeback. We were all really excited to hear it was coming back and uh, excited to help get it off the ground, literally. <laughs> Over a dozen balloons will take to the air on Saturday and Sunday. It's an event Monty Coates and dozens of others have been working on for nearly a year. It's exciting. There's been a lot of work. There's been a lot of humps overcome. And at times we thought, oh no, is this even worth the effort? But um, now that we see it, everything's happening. It's so exciting just to watch it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful. The Autumn Aloft was grounded in the early 90s when the Park City area began to grow with more houses, leaving the air balloons without a place to land. Now with a new field, the event is ready to take flight once again. The community has been so supportive. Everybody has been so excited to see this event come back. And those who have flown in the autumn aloft in the past are excited to get their balloons back up in the air. People are coming out on the decks and waving and it's big smiles, and that's my favorite part. The Autumn Aloft takes off Saturday morning and runs through the weekend. You can find more information about times, events, and where to park on our website at fox13now.com. In Park City, Kirsten Nunez, Fox 13 News, Utah.